Good morning and happy hump day, everyone. How are you all feeling? Oh, what a, a few, last few couple of weeks, eh? <laughs> um, for an energy, from an energy point of view, I do feel like the veil is lifting quite um, heavily now. So hopefully from this moment forth, you guys should be starting to feel a little bit lighter and brighter about things and have fresh new perspectives and you know got all your goals going on and you know have a a brighter outlook let's just say that so it's going to be different for everybody of course but for today um obviously it's star sign day so i'm going to tap into each and every single individual star sign and i'm going to share with you what spirit feel you need to know to move forward Obviously, this information isn't going to suit everybody, so please just take what you need from it. Leave the rest. Check your sun, moon, risings, do all that sort of jazz. If you follow the astrology side, uh, astrology side of things, I can't even talk already. Um, yeah, but at the end of the day, I am an energy reader, so I'm reading the energy for each star sign. So, you know, you might want to watch them all. Anyway, so those who have been here for a while, g'day. Those who are just stumbling across this video, please subscribe, like, share, do all that positive juju. I would really appreciate it. But for now, we're gonna get stuck straight into it. And we are going to ask Spirit to use all my senses, safely, securely, in full protection, to offer each and every star sign something they feel we need to know moving forward. And we're gonna kick off with Aries. So, hey Aries. Or as my mum used to say, airy ass. <laughs> you got an airy ass? <laughs> All right, Spirit, can we have something for Aries, please? For the star sign of Aries. What do Aries need to know from this moment forth? All right. Oh, that one. All right, Aries, are you practicing your patience right now? I think we all have to be. <laughs> but they just told me that your patience is going to pay off for you. So if you are embracing the art of patience, then that is going to pay off. They keep telling the words pay off, pay off. So something's gonna pay off for you, Aries. So especially if you're being patient. I don't know whether this has got to do with any type of commitments. We've got the marriage card here. Even though it could be quite specific, you're waiting to, for that ring to be popped on your finger or you're waiting for someone to take your relationship to a higher level of um, connection. Uh, if you're single, maybe you do have someone coming in on the scene, someone that you've been maybe patiently waiting upon or um, you've just been patient in the attracting and manifesting the love that you desire. This is higher level of commitments for you, Aries. So your patience, like I say, is going to pay off. Um, I know the card meanings are very specific, but I'll read the general energy from it. So if you're, if you're looking for a high level of commitment, whether it's in your relationship, your career, uh, love life, finance, financial side, anything like that, it is going to come in for you. You do have to admit your true feelings to, to yourself, for yourself. <laughs> um, honesty is going to be the key from this moment forth for you Aries so if you're being really honest and transparent and, and really trying to place your order with the universe um, not attaching yourself to a certain specific but if you're being very diligent in what you're asking for and you're not settling then um, something's going to pay off for you it's a higher level of commitment whatever this is all right let's get some tarot and see if we can get something more uh, Oh my God, look at that. Oh, look, I'm going to say for the Aries out there, this has to has to do with relationships, the Ten of Cups here. This is you manifesting fresh new love, having a rebirth in your already existing relationship, um, coming together, coming together. Your patience is going to be rewarded. So if you have been really patient and you have been wanting to take your relationship sector to a higher level, um, it's definitely coming in for you here. Yeah, so please don't keep yourself in this self-imposed prison. Continue to say your scripts. Continue to um, only expect positive outcomes. There's no lack of scarcity coming in for you, Aries. I'm telling you what. Yeah, emotions may be running a bit rampant right now, but they are with this collective energy. But here's your empire over here. I think some of you may be wanting to start a family or build a family dynamic. They just told me the word empire. So if that's you, your patience is going to pay off for you, Aries. Love it for you. All right. So we're going to go into Taurus. Taurus on 444. Taurus. Spirit, can we have something for Taurus, please? Something for Taurus, please? Oh, oh, 
Oh no, we're gonna have the same cards it's gonna keep coming out for everybody. All right, Taurus. Um, you got Healing Healed Healer. So I don't know whether you've really, really felt um, the contrast over the energies since the full moon especially. Because I do believe, and even if you're not aware of it, that there are certain aspects of yourself that are being healed. Obviously, first and foremost, by our angels. They're coming in to promote a lot of healing and um, um, across the planet right now. So it depends on where people are in their um, consciousness. But I feel like you're healing a rift. They said you're healing a rift. This could be a rift that you have within yourself or you're healing a rift with someone else. I feel like someone else or you yourself will go traveling somewhere. So uh, reconciling, they just said, reconciling. Maybe you're reconciling something within yourself. This can have so many dynamics. I can't wait to get the tarot with yours, see what this actually is. But I do feel like if you've been, you may be reconciling your money mindset. You may be reconciling in your relationships. There's some sort of reconciliation that's going to ask for you to go travel. Maybe you will book that trip if you want to go somewhere. Um, the higher levels of commitment, the marriage card come out again and just did so for Aries. So higher levels of commitment when it comes, take this card generally because I'm reading for a collective. <laughs> um, but it, this could be relationship based. I'm noticing a lot of relationship things are coming up, especially in my private readings. But anyway, so if you are looking for a high level of commitment, maybe you will start traveling for work. It's just an, um, an aspect of your life that you want a high level of commitment in, it, commitment in God speak English, um, that is actually being healed for you. So if you are a healer yourself, you are being really encouraged to maybe start offering your services out into the community. And, and if you do that, then you will attract your tribe, so to speak, your client base. Yeah, look, Wheel of Fortune, baby. The wheels are starting to turn for you. They're going in your favor. I do have to tune I would do an energetic tune up if I were you, because I do feel like there's still a little bit of residual energy that's not really serving you well. Maybe it's a disbelief that good things can happen to you. I don't know what this is. Whatever this change is, it's gonna come in hard and fast for you, Taurus. Hard and fast, this is only forward movement here. Things are gonna get really black and white for you. Maybe you'll just understand where you stand in this healing energy. It's gonna be different, but there is high levels of commitment here in your work, your relationships, and there's also money and abundance attached to it too. So, you know, some people believe that their health is their wealth. Some people believe the size of their bank account is their wealth. Some people believe that having really nice um, co-creative relationships is their wealth. It's it's different for everybody, but whatever this is for you, Taurus, you can start feeling, you can be, you can expect to start feeling better real soon, real soon. I love these energies. I hope that helped you, Taurus. All right, now we have Gemini. It's so funny, it doesn't matter what star sign I do, I can see the energies that are coming in for people. I can see it, and the see your abilities are taken off. All right, let's go Gemini. Spirit, can we have something for Gemini, please? For some reason, Gemini, they're asking you to go out and dance. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay. So we got practice, practice, practice. So maybe you are starting, uh, maybe you, you're transitioning into a new type of lifestyle. Maybe you are learning about something new. Um, they're just saying don't be so hard on yourself because, you know, with anything, any new skill or anything that you start learning or whatever you start doing, you know, it does take practice. Everything in life is a muscle. And... We need to strengthen that muscle in some way. If you've been wanting to go on a holiday, then that's definitely coming up for you. Maybe an upcoming, they just keep saying upcoming trip. So some of you can expect an upcoming trip. Um, this is either a physical upcoming trip or you're just taking your life on a new journey. So be patient with yourself. Practice, 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 whatever you're learning, whatever you're applying to your life right now. I've got a feeling it's your mindset because I keep wanting me to tap on my mind. So keep practicing your affirmations and your scripts because you're definitely speaking something into being. If you're going on a physical holiday, take me in your suitcase. <laughs> um, but if not, this, this could be similar to the collective reading the other day when Spirit was saying, you know, treat your life like it's one big holiday. And if it's been very stressful and chaotic for you, it's going to take some practice to not double in that and play in that and and constantly you know bask in the trouble and chaos or whatever this is marriage come out again third time in a row out of all these cards 
So Gemini, there is high levels of commitment here. Some of you may get engaged. Some of you may um, um, actually be getting married. But, but, but they just want me to keep that general for you, Gemini, and just say there's an upcoming celebration that's coming in for you. And the fairies are really, um, I think what's happening, the fairies are joining you. They're asking you to get a little bit more playful, especially if you've been making some hard, solid decisions for yourself. Uh, maybe you should honour yourself by having a holiday or whether this holiday will just chill you out enough. But there's some sort of celebration that's coming up for you. So, yeah. We'll get a tarot. Yeah, here comes, yeah, you're manifesting beautifully. Manifesting beautifully. Please don't fall for any illusion or any sort of trickster type energy that may come in for you from this moment forth. I feel like you have banished. They just told me banished. So I feel like you may have banished a lot of this elusive, you know, negative thinking, false people, terrible experiences, whatever that is, but you're manifesting hard. You also got the star. So your wishes are going to be fulfilled here. You're going to be the star of your show. Um, you are going to be successful. There is going to be a chance for you to celebrate. Maybe you will go on a holiday, but if not, maybe you'll just tap into an energy where your life just feels like one big holiday. And, and there's a um, um, financial offer that's going to come in for you as well. So this has been a long time coming for the Geminis that I'm reading for. It it's just you haven't been prepared energetically to receive it yet, but I think you are. So treat your life like it's a holiday or go and enjoy a holiday. Either which way, when you come out of this, um, come out on the other side of this energy, then there's going to be new proposals and new offerings that are going to come in for you, Gemini. So I love this for all of you. This is so cool. All right, now we have Cancer. You, you, I can't wipe the smile on my face because I, I, I know what's going to come in for the rest of the year for everyone. All right, so now we got cancer. Cancer. Well, I should say what's possibly coming in for everybody because we're all creators of our own reality, aren't we? All right, cancer. This marriage card comes out again. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, nice. Oh, look, I'm going to show you these two straight up. We've got the spiritual teacher and we've got the business venture. So some of you may be starting your own business shifting your career sector, going in a whole new direction when it comes to how you earn your money, where it comes from. Some of you are just tapping into your 4D reality, which is gonna happen very, very, very shortly, like in the coming days for a lot of people. I know I'm feeling it. I literally put a close to my energetic past yesterday. I just, I just knew energetically that's it, fresh start, fresh beginnings full of forgiveness, full of love, all that sort of stuff. Maybe that's where you're at right now. If you have done that and you've recalibrated that within yourself and you stand fully in the power of who you are, knowing that you're not perfect and there's always um, room for growth and expansion and all that sort of stuff, you're gonna step into this spiritual teacher type of role. So you may find that those who aren't vibrating as high as you are will come to you with their problems, will come to you um, wanting your advice or your guidance, or you'll just be a natural light in the community and, you know, yeah, make sure you shield and protect yourself, that's for sure. But if you are start wanting to start a new business venture, take your career in a new direction, please, by all means, do so. You've got patience, please, as well. So maybe your patience is wearing thin. A lot of people are more so focused on the, the not seeing the physical... Um, the, the physical results of all their work. So if that's you, Cancer, stop it because <laughs> it's coming in. Your patience is going to be rewarded. It's time for you to step up in your power here. I feel like there's a very strong influential energy like a coach or a mentor, or maybe this is your guides coming through to you saying, stop playing small. Stop playing small. Stop using your past as, as an excuse as to why you can't move forward. This person has got a lot to offer you. So just be mindful. If you're feeling like this and this enters your life, you'll sabotage it. So if you're vibrating here and though you're physically not there yet, um, this energy will step into your life because I feel like that is stepping into your life. That's got some really great, great um, offers or opportunities or options for you. So it could be you too stepping into this energy where you are stepping into the spiritual teacher. It's going to be different for everybody because it depends on where you're at. You really need to follow your intuition and from this moment forth, every time you feel or sense something, if it doesn't feel right, if it doesn't feel conducive, if it doesn't add value to your life, you need to let it go. You need to release it and just trust that 
um, the source is divinely orchestrating bigger and better for you. I feel like if I'm a Cancerian, this has been quite a lonely journey for me, but it's not gonna be lonely forever. You've needed this time to A, practice your patience, to B, get yourself into an energetic alignment with it and to know what you're worth and what you're worthy of. Yeah, look at you go, here's your empire. So this person that steps in for you probably is the king of pentacles. <clears throat> Someone who can really offer you financial, emotional, intellectual uh, support here. Um, either that or you're stepping into this king of pentacles energy. There is money and abundance, they're dropping coins in front of me now. So there is money and abundance attached to it. So if you've been impatient, trying to force the flow, in, in some sort of career sector or um, business venture, or you've been playing small, um, stop it because this is what you're coming into here. Cancer. So, you know, I, they just said uh, a really good mantra for you, Cancer, is money is my friend. Money is my friend. Money is my friend. Keep saying that to yourself. 1555. So we got the 555. Perfect. All right. So now we have Leo. Spirit, something for Leo, please. Something for Leo. A lot of spirits around you, Leo, because as soon as I, um, yeah, because as soon as I tap in your energy, my nose starts itching, that's when spirits are really close. Anyway, um, some of you may want to travel. So there's some travel coming up for you, Leo. This could be astral traveling as well. So if you've been finding that you've been dreaming a lot or going to other destinations through meditation or in your dream state, then that is totally normal for you right now. I do feel like this is physical travel coming in. I feel like some of you actually need to do this as part of your healing journey. So either it's the energetic healing side of it, like I say, when you do your meditations and the astral traveling and going to other dimensions, very shamanic type energy. If not, maybe the inner shaman's coming out in you and you want to go roam about, you want to go rogue or a bit nomadish for a little while. They are showing me a truck and they actually show me a Scooby-Doo truck. <laughs> so some of you may want to invest in a van or hire a van or something and do a bit of traveling here. Um, you need to be yourself, Leo. If you're striving to be anything other than you're not, that could be something that's tripping you up right now. But you are being really encouraged to follow your dreams right now. Um, you're going to travel to new destinations. You really are. It's about being authentic. And I, I feel like it's a clash between how other people are telling you that it should be. You know, this could be your old school teachers. It could be your parents. It could be, you know, people in society, you know, hierarchies of any sort. Um, they're saying, you know, if you've got a dream to travel and explore and jump in a bus and go take off somewhere then and you know that's for your healing process then it's time to make that happen for yourself it's really time to make yeah get out of this indecision get out of this indecision what i love about this is that the more you focus on yourself and your dreams and you're placing your order with the universe and doing all that positive juju you got stability and security so you can actually have stability and security while you're on the road you know there's so many people out there that live a freedom-based lifestyle um, and they're doing it, you know, maybe you need to pick their brains and ask them how they do it and get a little bit more disciplined by being yourself and knowing that you can be, do, have whatever you set your mind to, Leo, you know. But don't worry, there is stability and security coming up. They're, they're making me sign a contract now. So, you know, maybe you um, have to travel for work. Maybe there's a contract, yeah, contractual agreement that's coming in for work and you may have to travel for work or something like that, but either which way, you're really gonna like this, I think, and I think it is a total contrast to what you've been doing up until this point. I really do. So yeah, hope that helped you, Leo. Now we have Virgo. Virgo, Spirit, can we have something for Virgo? Ah, uh, if they're meant to come out, they will again. I don't know whether I stuffed up there. All right, Virgo. Spirit, something for Virgo. Oh, a bird just flew away out of the tree, so maybe you're getting ready to fly. Yes, indeedy. Whom do you need to forgive? So I think it's important at the moment, Virgo, for you to forgive yourself first and foremost and offer forgiveness towards others. If you don't want to actually have a conversation with someone and, and you know, say I'm sorry for my part in this role or whatever, do it in your prayers, do it in your energetic space. You really need to learn the art of forgiveness right now. And that's gonna take a bit of practice because I feel like whatever's happened to you, you know, it's not one, two, three things. I, I feel like I could put my feet and hands up and say it's happened this many times. So maybe you are in this healing energy as well. Um, 
But forgiveness is going to be the key. And I know it's hard. I know it's really hard to tap into that forgiveness. But when you fully embrace the fact that you deserve to be happy and you deserve to have great things happen to you and that you deserve, you know, honesty, respect, loyalty, and all that type of jazz, equal energy exchange especially, uh, once you practice the art of allowing and practice the art of coming back to yourself, then something's going to significant is going to come in. Um, there's a holiday card again. So maybe you do need to take some time off, even if you can't afford a holiday or to go anywhere. Maybe just take some time to retreat, to come back to self, to add a bit more fun, playfulness, laughter into your life. Wake up each day like your life is one big holiday. If you are going on a vacation or a retreat or a holiday or anything of that nature, then maybe you, you'll have your aha moment, you'll have an epiphany moment where you will find this forgiveness and you'll just realize that I can't flog a dead horse. You really, really need to know that everything's coming full circle in a wonderful way for you. You really do, Virgo. All the resources that you need are, are coming in for you as you release any toxic type energies. This can be old thought patterns. These can be people. These can be lifestyle changes. This can be, you know, the fact that you are not forgiving yourself um, or others and accepting them where they are. I don't know what this is. But on the other side of this is um, the Two of Pentacles here. So it's about getting back to work, getting busy in those things that you love and that bring you joy. There is a level of prosperity that's coming in for you. So you may actually have a bit of a windfall somewhere, get some more money, um, start a new job. Um, just I just feel like I'm shifting my focus somewhere else. Because um, that's the best thing that we can do sometimes is don't focus on the problem or the issue. It's, it's about turning our focus somewhere else and um, allowing a new momentum to get started in some way. I could probably talk about that for about 10 minutes, but um, we can't. But Virgo, if you can take that, shift your focus in a different direction because you're going to like what's on the other side. All the resources you need are coming in for you. All right, now we have Libra. Libra. had something knocking on the door weird all right libra spirit can we have something for libra please <clears throat> Woo. all right you're gonna need to express your individuality libra and, and express your inner truth that's for sure i think you're going through a major transition here with the let go card I hate let go. I like to say release, release and replace. There is so much going on here. There is so much going on here. I'll have to get the tarot with yours, I think. But Spirit really wants you to know that you're not like anybody else. It's, it's, it, give yourself permission to be your true self. There are people or job opportunities or aspects outside of yourself that will really love you for who you are and, and will really accept you. They, they won't expect you to change. I don't know whether you've got a lot of energies around you that are expecting you to change or expecting you to do things their way or expecting you to be something that you're not. Maybe this is just a perspective that you have, but it's time to release that. And especially releasing the need to try to control your circumstances. You know, it's going to take a more relaxed energy that's going to sort of attract all your desires towards you. Um, I'd connect with nature if I were you because I feel like there is a very strong duality going on here between your 3D self and your 4D reality. I read, obviously read for what's coming up for you and I'm seeing a, a really nice rebirth happening in into your 4D timeline, energetic timeline. But if you continue to stay in the 3D by not expressing yourself, by not um, showing the world the real you, especially putting your skills and your talents and I don't know, I feel like you've been holding yourself back here or whether you've got external energies that are trying to hold you back. Just be very mindful of that. But um, please be your true self. Please know that there are people out there that are going to accept you for who you are. I wouldn't continue telling the story of how it's been, that's for sure, because you're reactivating that within yourself. You are jumping energetic timelines. Um, you need to rejuvenate yourself and you need to find sources of inspiration and start following through with that. Holy shit, yeah. This is a massive awakening. I literally got the shakes with you, Libra. And Libra's, I got um, Libra, Libra as my um, rising, so I got a feeling like attracts like here. <laughs> but look at these cards, guys. You're in your head too much. 
Maybe it's time to get out of your head and start using your voice and sharing your individuality here. This is, you've got, this, this is hard for you because this is an internal thing and it's an external thing. Please know that how you talk to yourself, how you present yourself to the world. If you try to get up each day and be the type of person that you hope everyone would like, you know, you're sabotaging yourself. That's what you need to release right now. You need to balance this out for yourself. Get rid of any external influences that are not serving you well. Get out of your head. Continue to say positive affirmations. I feel like I do need to move my body. I think there's external influences coming in for you now, Libra, that are actually phys um, affecting your physical self. So be very, very mindful of that. This could be energetic manipulation as well. God, this is deep because it's very intuitive. See, this is, this is like on a soul level. You need to leave the trash where it belongs. You need to start chasing your dreams by connecting with nature, allowing nature to speak to you, communicate with you. I feel like spirit are trying to move your feet in a certain direction and, and you're choosing to stay in the concrete. No, follow your intuition right now. <clears throat> Libra, express your individuality and please connect with nature because if you've got anything physical going on, it could be the fact that someone's um, um, emotionally or doing something to you that's not very nice. Anyway, all right, so now we have Scorpio. Scorpio. Spirit, can we have something for Scorpio, please? Awesome. All right, Scorpio. Walk away. I'm walking away from the troubles in my life. If that's you, because they just sang me that song, um, I like where you're going. I like where you're going. And this is a hard energy sometimes. It's hard because we all have energetic connections and ties and bonds and all that with certain pla people, places, things and lifestyle habits and all that sort of stuff. But if you are shifting your energy right now, especially if you are finding forgiveness, seems to be coming out a lot. Um... It's about forgiving yourself for the decisions you've made, for where you are, and, and start basking in um, what's starting, what's going to come in for you. Um, because you've got business venture. This business venture keeps coming out. A lot of people are either in the love sector or in the business sector, aren't they? Um, I guess that's a different, that's where everyone's balancing out their masculine and feminine energies. But anyway, if you do want to take your career on a different path, Scorpio, um, if you are setting up your own business, if you want to turn a hobby into a business, do anything like that. It's going to pay off for you, I can guarantee you. Especially if you walk away from people, places, things, thoughts, behaviours, all that sort of stuff that no longer is conducive. Find forgiveness in yourself. Um, don't beat yourself up because I feel like I'm beating myself up here. So even if it's, if no one has done anything to you around you, this could be an internal thing. Um... Especially so if it has come to business associates or it could be partnerships. So it could be love partnerships or maybe you work too much and you need to recalibrate your energy with your relationship sector as well here. Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio moon and that would make a lot of sense because I'm balancing out my family life, my love life when it comes in and my business life. So that, that's what it could be here for you. Oh, definitely. It doesn't matter. Your wishes are going to be fulfilled, Scorpio. Your wishes are going to be fulfilled. Um, you are still somewhat still releasing. If Take time out for yourself, Scorpio. Take time out for yourself. Follow your own internal guidance system. That's really, really important for you right now. I'm not too concerned about that because um, you are going to be karmically rewarded for anything that you turned your back on, especially if it didn't add value to your life or... Um, this can go two ways. I'm sorry, Scorpio. I'm getting pulled in two ways. I feel like if I'm a Scorpio, I'm really invested in something and I can't walk away from that and dabble in other areas of my life. But that's your message right now. You need to learn and create a balance in all different sectors of your life. You can't do that while you're busy and active and not walking away to have a think about all this. You can't do that. You need to tap in that hermit type energy and and say I, I will get this going it, you will get it going anyway you will get it going but maybe you've got someone around you who's always reminding you of you're never home you're always at work or you're always home why don't you go find a job or there's some there's some sort of contrasting energies going on like that so um yeah put yourself first put yourself first and start start categorizing your life especially where you invest your time and energy don't even know if that made sense <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so now we have Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, I'd really watch your diet and your eating. I think as the world uh, or the collective are raising their consciousness at the moment, we all should be doing this. But for you, you got vegetarian card. But as soon as I turn this card, they're, they're making me say, watch what you put in your mouth. If you are getting more sensitive on a um, energetic level, maybe you just can't tolerate foods or drinks or um, substances that you once could. So they just said clean up your diet. Clean up your diet, Sagittarius. So have fun with that. Um, but we also have travel. So travel seems to be coming up for all the star signs as well. So maybe you do want to travel. They just told me to go to a fruit market or something. <laughs> but they're putting me in that scene from Eat, Pray, Love when the guy and the girl are walking through that fruit market. So maybe there is some travel where you may travel to a, a foreign place and or or to a place that just feels foreign to you, do something different. I feel like I need to nurture my physical health. Look, look, I'll just keep it general for you, Sag. I feel like I need to nurture my uh, physical health through diet, nutrition, going to markets, getting into more upbeat and uplifting sort of environments where I feel like my awareness is just so pinged. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, different cultures, different food, different nationalities, different different, just different, <laughs> different. I feel like I need my stimuli to be, to get going, but there's definitely a food connection with you Sagittarius. Um, maybe you are gonna meet your, the love of your life on an upcoming trip or some travel. This, the, or if you're single, you may meet someone from a different country, or you may go visit a different country and meet someone over there. I feel like there's, there's just um, a cross connection with cultures right now. So maybe if you do eat really Australian, you know, maybe you feel inclined to eat really a lot of Chinese food. Um, and if it's not that, then maybe if you are looking for love, maybe you will go on an overseas holiday to a different country with a different culture and meet someone there, but there's gonna be improvements in your love life. How weird are these readings? There's gonna be a shift in your love life. Maybe you just love food. <laughs> Could just be that too, but I do, I honestly, Look after your physical health, Sagittarius, because I feel like there, there is definitely a shift that's needed when it comes to what you're putting in your choppers. That's for sure. Yeah, I love this for you. So like I say, I think you're coming out of this type of energy here where you're, you're knowing what's draining you, what's not floating your boat. Um, balance out your physical self. You may need more exercise, more foods, um, better foods, more uh, whatever it is. But I feel like you're conquering this. I feel like you're conquering this. If you have been asking for more money or stability and security, that's definitely coming in. For some reason, they told me specifically um, September for you, where I get to sign, maybe you'll sign up to a gym, uh, maybe you'll sign a contract on a house, maybe you will get married. I'm not sure what this is. So I think if I look after my physical self and I get back to loving myself, I will meet the love of my life. I will just have a love of life again, where I get to go and travel. Um, I'm just feeling much more better about myself. And then every other component, money, resources, stability, security, which is all a byproduct of how you feel, that is definitely gonna come in for you, Sagittarius. So take what you want from that. Just look after your physical self. All right, my Capricorns. My Capricorns. All right, spirits, I mean, for Capricorn, play nice, be nice. <laughs> Capricorns, spirit, something for Capricorn. If you're a Capricorn like me, I think you're starting to find your rhythm. Um, they want me to tap my feet. So music, music is going to be for your soul right now. Yep. Once again, travel. Go back and watch all the other star signs because this card's coming out all the time. Um, I think you... There's a sense of travel, but I'm not feeling like it's travel. Hang on, let me get these again. I 
Um, move forward. Move forward. Um, it's time for you to move forward, Cappy. Sorry, my nose is itching. The spirit is stepping in. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a move forward. Because I just, I just didn't feel like I'm traveling somewhere, like I'm packing up my bags. Unless you are. Unless you are, that's cool too. That's a good sign for you. If you do want to go do a bit of traveling or a bit of exploring, that's definitely on the cards for you. But for, for the cappies that I'm reading for, the energy they're trying to give me is the fact that you are moving forward. You are moving forward. Yeah, so you've got children um, that come out as well. So maybe be a little bit more childlike, play. Maybe you are moving forward into the childcare industry, working with children doing something like that. I feel like I'm moving forward in something. It's going to be specific to you because it depends on what you're calling out for. But at the moment, you do, we are in this let go energy. So we are releasing a lot right now. Um, surrender the need to control anything right now. Um, but maybe your purpose does involve working with children or if you have do have children, you're worried about them, it's, it's important to make the changes. I always say to everybody, you know, I wake up every single day and say to myself, I'm going to be the change I want my kids to be. I'm going to be the person I want my kids to be. But there's definitely a connection with children. So if you don't have children, have no interest in children or anything like that, uh, maybe if you've got a worry or concern that involves your children, you need to know that everything's going to be all right. But I do feel like if it's not got nothing to do with physical children, it's got to do with your playfulness side. It's got to do with becoming more childlike. Don't take life so seriously because goddamn us cabbies can take life way too seriously. You need to still do some research on something here. So you still need to find the truth out about something before you can move forward. There's something about not having enough information to make solid choices right now. So if that's you, you need to find and do some research or ask the questions or or do something that's going to consolidate a decision within you, whether you let go of whatever this is. This could be a desire that you have. It can be a relationship. It can be a direction that you thought you wanted to go in. It's going to be different. But um, I think you need to do some research. You need to have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations here. You need to grab a book and do some Googling. You, you, there's some research that still needs to be done here. Because don't make a sudden decision because more information is required here. So, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Look, if you are turning your back on anything that was once shiny and glittery and you're focusing on your own cup here and you're releasing the need to control anything right now, that you are merely just using your energy to get into alignment, you're waking up each day and being the person you wish um, your children to be or your, how you want the, you know, the children of this world to be, you've got to lead by example here. Still some research. Um, there is an offer that's coming in for you. It, it could come in really hard and fast. Um, they just say keep an open mind with this. I feel like there is good intention behind this message. So um, this could be anything. This could be a job offer. This can be a love opportunity. This can be, this could also be just be yourself where you just pick yourself up. Um, you've, you've done enough research. You've found the right answers. You've made your own decision because you've been looking at your own cup here and saying, you know, does that add value? Does that not? Is that honest? Is that true? Like, whatever it is. Um, and I feel like that's going to be replaced. And this is going to happen within the next couple of weeks, I think, two to three weeks, Cappy. So be open to new opportunities. Um, be open to whatever this is coming in for you. Because the night is a slow-moving energy. So only accept things that actually add value to your life and that raise you up, Cappy. That's all I can say. So it's all going to be dependent on what you're desiring. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius. Something for Aquarius spirit. You need to let it go. As soon as I tapped in your energy, I heard let it go. Let it go. There's something that's conjuring up a very sickly feeling within you. Um, it's like from the pit of my stomach. It's kind of like when I first started experiencing grief, that's what it felt like. It's trying to come to the surface, but I feel like you keep pushing it down, said um, Aquarius. Yeah, because we've got the easy does it. I think you're trying to go too hard, too fast, trying to fix everything all at once. You need to slow down this momentum, eh? You need to slow down the momentum because I feel like what's happening for you, Aquarius, and this is going to fit everybody, 
but I feel like what's happening is that you're resurrecting all these old past wounds, traumas, hassles. It is kind of PTSD-ish, if I'm honest. Um, and it's like I've got my desire in my lap, but my emotions are fucking it up, <laughs> pretty much. What's going on? Yeah, see, you need to walk away from something. I, honestly, if I had to give you a, um, a piece of guidance right now, which is from Spirit Aquarius, is that you've got to start releasing this emotional shit that you've got going on. You really, really do. St um, and I'm not saying that's easy. I've just come out of that myself. So trust me, it's, it's not easy and I know it. But you really just got to start going easy on your emotions and maybe transmute that in a little way by in, um, coming back to your now. It's really hard because I feel like this is coming up from the pit of my stomach. Please know, though, if you do start wor um, working on your emotions, stop influencing your life and, and, and your energy with external things that seem to amplify the, the PTSD type feeling that you've got going in within you. You do need to release that. You've got to honour yourself here. And everything that you need will come in spring. So in Australia here, that's probably September-ish. Can't wait to do the collective reading for July onwards because September is very significant for everybody. Um, <clears throat> but your desires are manifesting, but there's something that need, you need to pay attention to, your feeling space, your emotional space. Let's get into some... Um, butterflies may be very significant for you. Yeah, look, you're going through a death, ego death. Absolutely. Yep. You struggle to ask for help. You struggle to ask for help. You need to start asking for help and assistance. With professionals though, with professionals. Not just friends and family and colleagues and all that because they influence the energy too much and they keep that, that really suppressed emotion active within you. I know you're seeking answers, but you need to walk away from the problem and get yourself into the space of the solution so you can go through this death process, unless it's related to a death of some sort, um, and start asking yourself the important questions here. Very personal developing. Look, I, I, you got the Ace of Wands, you will get over this, but I feel like I am really stepping out and I'm putting a death to being used, being abused, being taken advantage of by thinking less than, by allowing my emotions to govern me in some way from past experiences. This is very deep and very heavy, and I'm sorry, Aquarius, but that's it's what they're giving me. So there is a rebirth going to come in your inspiration. It's up to you now whether you focus on the solution and find things that inspire you, connect with people that inspire you. I do feel like there's a level of learning here because it's going to help you walk away from what no longer serves you. Um, it's time to see the contrast in everything right now and not just focus on the problem, which is causing a lot of emotional crap to come up from within you. So... Hope that helps you, Aquarius. All right, so now we have Pisces. Pisces, oh my God. All right, so you got let go as well. So maybe you are very actively releasing unwanted thoughts, behavioral patterns, people, places, things from your life. Um, I do feel like for you too, Pisces, you need to check your diet, check your eating habits. Um, they just told me schedule. So maybe you need to maybe create more of a steadier schedule for yourself. Um, maybe it's all work and no play, or maybe you're investing a lot of time into one area of your life and you're neglecting the health and physical side of yourself. Please know you got debts paid off. This will be rectified if it's a physical thing. Please know that if you are having any sort of financial burden, worry, strain at the moment, then there's going to be enough resources coming in to um, get that paid off, get any debts paid off. This can be karmic debt as well, not just financial debt. So, or maybe because we've got the dietary change here, maybe your physical self um, will start picking up a little bit if you improve your diet. Because I feel like if I start feeling better, then I'll start manifesting better and I'll get the money or I'll get the lover or I'll get, um, you know, the stability and the security that I'm, I'm wanting to attract here. So you're either paying off your karmic debts right now or there's enough resources 
and valuable items coming in where you can, in the physical world, get your debts paid off. Um, I don't know whether you feel like you're falling through the cracks of a system or something because the cards which you fell out and they went straight through the crack and of the, of the um, table. Yeah, look at that. All right, follow your intuition. Maybe you are very intuitive and you're getting caught up in, you know, the 3D consciousness and the 4D consciousness. That's okay, a lot of people are. Um, I do want you to know that there is some stability and security and contractual agreements coming in for you. So if you've lost a lot of contracts, this can be divorces, this can be um, business, business contracts, um, anything like that, please know that that's happened for a reason. That's being replaced with something better. And this, whatever's coming in is better. It's stable and it's secure. I feel like you're starting a new soul contract too. And what I love about this energy for you is that you'll start receiving the love, the money, the support, the emotional side of things, the intellectual stimulation, whatever you're asking for, it's going to come in because you're going to be triumph, triumphant, Pisces. But we need to flip the switch and we need to start releasing. I'm not even going to say the word, but we need to start releasing um, limiting thoughts, beliefs, behavioral patterns, people from the past, whatever, and obviously improve your physical self with your diet here. So you can't give from an empty cup, Pisces. You just can't. You'll burn yourself out and then you'll be no good for anyone. All right. All right, guys, I hope that all made sense. Please know that I love you all so much. I'm very proud of all my fellow energy workers who have been applying the processes that I've been offering and, and creating the shift in their life. So much gratitude and appreciation. You make my job so much more um, much more rewarding, especially 4646 on the camera. We'll look that up. But um, yeah, I'll be back in a few days anyway and take care of yourselves. And yeah, love you. Bye.